Welcome to a guide to important mod updates on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't often do update videos. Sometimes I'll add an update into a video if I think it's important enough. Um, sometimes I'll mention updates and what I'll do is tell people to go to the mod hub and have a look at the changelog files for what the updates are. These two I felt were important enough that needed to have a video of their own. Um, these are mods that were updated on Thursday the 26th of September. In front of me here I've got the SX Heavy Pack, or part of the SX Heavy Pack, which is by FA285634. This has had an update and an important one, as you can probably see. Now you might automatically think, well okay, that's just a hook lift back, isn't it? It's not. It's a completely additional vehicle. Uh, if we go into the store and go to trucks, we scroll across, we had the SX Heavy IT runner, which was added on. We had the SX Heavy originally, so that was kind of a, an update a while ago, I think it was. Um, now we've got the SX Tipper. Um, look at the price differences. The SX Heavy, which is a fifth wheel attached vehicle, very nice indeed, uh, 150,000. The SX Heavy IT runner, 195,000 and obviously you've got the IT back on the back. Fantastic. This is important because it has a 60,000 litre tipper on the back of it. As standard, that's how it comes. It's only 75 grand. Now, it will use 33 slots. I know it says 22 there, but this will use 33 slots. Um, and that's not all. As part of the update, I'm not sure if this was on the previous update, but it's definitely on this one. Um, we can change the main colour. Most of them are metallic, so for example, if I went for orange, it gives that nice type of metallic orange tint to it, if you want to go for that. Design colour changes the stripe, so if I wanted to go, say, with blue for some reason, I don't know. That changes the stripe colour, you can just see that in the light as well. Uh, we've got option, Trelleborg or Lizard are the options on the tyres, but I like this because it has real chunky tyres on the front as well. Now here's the thing as well. We've got diesel, 500 horsepower, or extra power for 7,500, which only takes up then to 85 grand to buy it, 875 horsepower. 875 horsepower. So, we've got a tipper, 60,000 litre, 875 horsepower. That tipper will take everything, by the way. As if that's not it, on the back, we've now got a trailer attacher as well. Let's try and get that in the light. The other two versions of this, the hook lift and the um, fifth wheel attacher one, doesn't have a trailer hitch on the back. So we've now got a trailer hitch, which enables you to hook other things on. Again, massive. Makes a huge, huge difference. Um, it does have a cover on the top as well. That's the standard, and you can't change the colour of that. Um, that's why I think it's important. It's, it's an important mod. That trailer hook on the back, especially with some of the new mods that have come out recently, you can hook up some nice combos together. Even if you had this as your main, your main truck now, at 875 horsepower for only 75 grand for the standard version, trailer hook on the back with a dolly, you can then pull any other semi-trailer you like. That makes it a very powerful, cheap alternative, and thrown into that mix you've also got a tipper on there. That's fantastic, brilliant idea. So. I know I've probably said fantastic too many times. Sounds great. Looks great. Open the cover on the back. Like so. I have got lime, I think, in this one. 60,000 litres as far as tipping goes. Fairly straightforward. It does exactly what it says in the tin. That's, I just like to say, I, I think it's really important. Um, would I go so far as say game changer? It depends how you play the game. It's fairly heavy on the slot count, but that said, if you go for a truck and a 60,000 litre trailer, potentially you could be looking at a fairly high slot count anyway. So for 33 slots, I don't think that's too bad a deal. You can pay 80 odd grand just for a 60,000 litre trailer. That's what I mean, that's what I think. Anyway, there you go. So that's the uh, SX Heavy Pack, but the uh, tipper 
by FA285634, the first of our important mods. Turn it off for a second, which brings me on to the second. This is the Flegel Flatbed Semi Trailer. Uh, this is by Top Ace 888 and if you remember recently we had the um, large baler was released that does the Heston bales which aren't 4,000 litre, they're 6,100 litre bales. Unfortunately without doing manual uh, loading there wasn't an auto load bale trailer that took them. The Flegel flatbed semi trailer has just had an update which now takes the Heston bales again. That's important. If you want to be doing the larger bales and you don't want to be doing them manually um, that's a big difference that's a big change to this now I've got a dolly on this because I just bought it over hooked up to the uh, SX heavy pack um, this will take 20 bales uh, we'll have a look in store this is under baling technology if we scroll across we've got the other options available already if I get to it there we go so we've got the uh, semi trailer round bales semi trailer square bales and now we've got the semi trailer square bales big still 28,000 to buy uh, slot count on that was only nine which is fantastic and it will take 20 bales normal size bales it will take 30 um, but it's nice to have an auto load option available on that I will just show you very very quickly This is no slouch, this truck either. 57 miles an hour. This will pull some heavy loads. But anyway, let's hook this up just to show you the trail hitch does work. It's not made up. So, as far as unloading goes, let's switch to the rear trailer. Open the menu up just to give us a hand. So, at the moment, we can do uh, L1, unload bales, triangle, and then we can move the bales, put them down. Actually, what I'll do is swing around so we can see a bit better. So lift them up, put them down wherever we want to put them. No problem whatsoever. If I put them over the back, like so, it will make it a little bit easier, like that. Unload bales here, yes please, and they are unloaded. So what I can do now, I mean if you've used an auto load bale trailer before, just no surprise. Uh, so what I'll do now, uh, transport position, then put it into its operating position. So as we come past this time, the bales should just load on automatically that's kind of the point isn't it there we go important changes and that's why I thought it needed to be shown so there you go that's the Flegel flatbed semi trailer by Top Ace 888 I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.